Today's episode is sponsored by Spartan Chemical Company. Family owned and operated since 1956, Spartan Chemical is a leading manufacturer of superior and cost-effective specialty chemical products sold through select trusted distributors. Spartan Chemical makes clean simple. For more information, please visit spartanchemical.com. Today I'm with Jorge Villalobos, who's the winner of the Ralph Bloss Humanitarian Award this year at the Experience. Jorge, congratulations. Thank you. So excited to be here with you, Jeff. Everyone loves to hear someone's story. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, your past, where you're from, and how you got here today? And also, how many shows have you been to, would you say? Well, uh, I'm originally from Colombia. I came here in 1999. I, have a, I was a banker, my wife a physician. We left our country for security problems. And one year after I came here, uh, somebody told me about carpet cleaning. And I say, why not? You know, I was hired in my first company, uh, unfortunately, because they didn't do right, the right things. But they hired me for the uh, customer service because I didn't speak English. You didn't speak English, but here we are. But they don't want to. They want to <laughs> hire me because they don't want the customers understand okay. what I said. That okay. was a really good move. So why, why this industry? Why do you stay with it? You were in banking then in your home country. Yes. You could do that here. What do you love about this? Well, the first thing is that I realized that I'm gonna go in different places every day. I'm gonna be, meet new people every day, and I love the challenges that the carpet cleaning uh, and the restoration. Uh, industry has because every day is something new and you have to deal with with different different problems and I love and I, like I'm that. a soul problem yeah I, okay. I love to do it well I know I could never be a banker but <laughs> glad, glad you're with us um, talk about now I know you want you won the award because of all the charitable opportunities activities you're engaged in and the list is long and and um, what what do you do to make that work for your business? I know you don't do it just for business, but how does that help? Well, the first thing is that uh, I owe everything that I have and, and I, I am right now to this country, you know? And I don't want to look cheesy, but this is the truth. Okay. And when I moved to Gainesville, Florida, I moved it for my wife to come back to the university. I didn't think about any university students and facilities and all this. I didn't know about this. Mm -hmm. Then when I start to, to do my work, I realized that was a lot of people involved, but uh, at the same time, we live in a city that they need a lot of help. Then I just start to realize that every time that I was helping, I was getting something back. And, and, and the more I start to do it, the more I get it, but not only in money, but, but in respect, in, in community service, in, in, in the attention that my employees and team get with with the whole process mm -hmm. then I love it and I, I, I don't stop I'm part of a lot of the board members of different organizations and 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 I don't gonna stop this is gonna be even if I don't do restoration and cleaning for the rest of my life possible my service will be there I noticed on your social media you you help other restoration companies mm -hmm. other cleaning companies mm -hmm. in fact when I was looking recently you were a weatherman and you were talking about all the pockets where there was need for help and you connect others to those that are in need you're really concerned about your communities yes how does how do others respond to that how does your competition respond to that well I'm gonna be honest at the beginning was was a little bit tough because I was one man operator when I started okay. business uh, I didn't know the city everybody was like who is this new guy and you know years after we are 52 people and and, and we manage possible 60 percent of the market then but at the same time they realized that we were raising the bar we were just coming to these events to learn in new techniques and new equipment and meet people the only thing that helped me was to be a better producer and mm -hmm. a better uh, uh, person also, I get involved with Howard Patrick, and, and, and since the beginning, not only Howard, but everybody who is around him, they were the ones who build who I am like a person too. That means that I put these things together, 
And, and you know, nobody can just go against you because you are a good, a good worker. Good Everybody point. can go with you, against you if you are doing something bad to them. Good or, point. But at the end, we are just an open company. We help everybody. I'm really good friend of most of the restoration and cleaning people there. Fantastic and to see. This is a good relationship, you know. Yeah. Now, at the beginning of our interview, I asked you how many shows you've been to. I don't think we've talked about, we've covered that. Yes. Because, Jorge, I've been to every, <laughs> every connections, every experience I think they've had. I seem to see you at every one of them. Yes. I know you might have missed a couple, but how many have you been to, would you say? Well, right now, I, I really believe that I went, I came already like 20. 20? Yes. And part of the story is that the first show that I, I was in Clearwater, Florida, that was two hours from my house. That's easy. I, I, yeah. yeah, but I, I couldn't afford to go to the classes. Wow. I just went to the trade show that cost $10 at this time. Mm -hmm. Because, you know... I, I was like, uh, I cannot be in the classes with like $250. I, sure. I, I, it was too much for me at this time. And, and, and you see me every year, what I do is the opposite thing. I bring all my guys to this event. Wow. To all, my son is coming with me every year, but you know, I have one of my guys this year. The last year I brought four of my guys to Vegas. Uh, by the way, Daniel that is with me is the first time that he take an airplane and he's 32 years old. <laughs> then for me, all these things, he showed them that our industry is so big. It's not that we just carpet cleaning and restoration in a small city. Mm -hmm. No, we are part of a big organization and a big industry and this is what I want to show them. This is my vision. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's great to see you again and congratulations on the award. Um, fantastic accomplishment and achievement, but it's because you earned it. So, congratulations. Thank you, Jeff. I really appreciate it.